job is to provide high quality food, fiber, or fuel for the world. But our population keeps growing, which means we keep needing more land for housing, stores, roads, and more. This also means that our farmers must keep growing more food on less land, all while making sure they are protecting the soil, water, and air. This is a very big challenge, but luckily, we have many people around the world who put their time and effort into researching and practicing ways we can become more sustainable. But what is sustainability, and what does it look like in the world of agriculture? Well, let's head over to the Illinois Corn Growers Association and talk with an expert on sustainability to find out. <music> I'm Megan, a farmer from Illinois, here today to answer the question, what is sustainability? Well, sustainability means having something and ensuring that thing is available for people in the future to use. On the farm, that really means thinking about our land, our soil, and ensuring that it is robust and healthy and available for people and generations in the future to use. Think about it like this. If your family goes and cuts down a real Christmas tree at Christmas time, that tree is good for one Christmas just in that season. But the ornaments that you put on that tree are probably the same ornaments you use year after year after year. And sometimes maybe you even add to those ornaments. Well, on the farm, and we think about our land, the land is like the ornament. We only get those ornaments to use year after year after year. And by doing practices to be more sustainable, we can add to the health of that soil. We can make it more fertile, we can make it more resilient, and ultimately make it better to produce and be available for future generations. So come along with me as we go on a little journey to see how sustainability really looks on the farm today. The first stop is actually right here in my office. One of the ways that that farmers engage in, and think about sustainability today is actually with technology. Most farmers have an iPad at their disposal. We get to do things like precision planting. What does that mean? It means that we can make a prescription. We can make a map that shows exactly where a planter needs to plant specific number of seeds and put on a specific number of nutrients and be very precise and efficient utilizing technology. And these changes in the planter can happen in a matter of seconds. And if you think about an acre being the size of a football field and a farmer planting about 35,000 seeds of corn in that field and making split second changes, it's really spectacular about the, uh, the way we've come and, and being able to utilize technology and efficiency today. Hey, now we're at my car. What does my car and corn have to do with sustainability, you might wonder? Well, the corn that we grow on our farm goes to two uses. One, it goes to feed our cows. The other is to become a clean burning renewable energy source called ethanol that can go in our cars. This is a great source of renewable fuel for clean transportation. Our corn and the corn kernels at the ethanol plant don't just become fuel. They also get broken down into used and used into all sorts of other products, including things called distiller's grains that become more livestock feed. So we really reduce, reuse and recycle every part of the corn kernel. The next stop is a visit to our cows. How do cows fit into the sustainability realm, you might ask? Well, they're pretty cool creatures. We can plant things called cover crops. So after we harvest our cash crop, things like corn and soybeans in October and November here in Illinois, we can plant something called a cover crop. These are grasses and legumes that grow in the winter and make sure that we don't lose any soil. They hold the soil in place and they also get to scavenge and pick up any extra nutrients that might be left behind from the year. After that is grown, it makes a really great cow feed. So we can let our cows eat on turnips and radishes and rye and all sorts of fun things uh, that they love to eat. In turn, they give us nutrient rich manure that is a natural fertilizer source for the next crop. The more fertile and productive we can make our soils, 
the happier we can make our cows, the better off everyone's going to be. It's going to be good for the business that is our farm, and it's going to be good for future generations to come. So sustainability, again, is really looking at taking what we have today, ensuring that we're taking care of it to make it just as good, if not better, for the people of tomorrow. Mm -hmm.